Greetings and salutations viewers to this I Cybertron X coming to you with a new toy review. And I'm doing it on Star Wars Shadows of the Empire Slave One. Uh, this is the second Star Wars vehicle that I own, actually, the only other Star Wars vehicle I own. And it's uh, Boba, Boba Fett's Slave One. From the Shadows of the Empire, Shadows of the Force, or Shadows of the Empire. Shadows of the Force. Uh, Shadows of the Empire. Uh, Slave One. It is a boss in the game. And um, I just happened to have found it at a flea market for 20 bucks. Uh, put it together, and it was missing the canopy. Luckily, I found that on eBay. Now, the weird thing is, this is from an original Slave, slave One. This is just a remolding, uh, of, of, like a re-release of the original Slave One that came out with the uh, uh, Empire Strikes Back toy line. Uh, here it is, is in landing mode. Uh, details, details wise, it's got some really nice paint apps showing, you know, like rusted, uh, 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 peeling paint and stuff like that. Um, uh, the decals are really nice too. Uh, features in this, one feature is when you stand it up straight, the wings will rotate. Now there's a trigger on the back of the handle here, that if you hold it, it will lock the wings in place. If not, they'll fold down. Now on this side, we can reveal that you pull this out. sits in there pretty good. You can reach inside the uh, vehicle. Inside, I had this happen, it comes with another item. Uh, Han Solo and Carbonite. Smaller version than uh, this version here that I have, which came with a Han Solo figure and Carbonite. Uh, this one is a little bit more better detailed, like with him being frozen. I like that detail over this one. It kind of, this one kind of feels like it was smushed in there. And it's not rectangular. It's more of a odd shape. Uh, I, I can't remember the name of that. But there's that. Some really nice sticker detail on there. Now, another gimmick is you see this, this level here. When you push it, it will lower down the uh, seat where you can place and remove and put Boba Fett. Boba Fett gets put in here and stayed since it's now I have that. And you pull that up and there's a little spot here that you go ahead and you place on solo, raise the ramp, which does kind of want to pop out from time to time. place the cargo door that sometimes does not want to go. There we go. Um, it is a really nice vehicle. Really nicely detailed. Uh, and then the feature is the guns will rotate. Now, if you can find this and you're a true Star Wars fan, go ahead and pick it up. It is a great deal to have. Um, I actually got this for 20 bucks at a flea market. Not a bad deal. Plus another 5 bucks for the canopy. Cheapest one I could find. Uh, so, if you can find this, pick it up. It is a really nice addition to any Star Wars collection. This is Cybertron Axe, and this is full Bounty Hunter. 